Hi everybody, today let's take a look at these mugs that uh, are on the 3D printer uh, realm um, by a company called Ars Moriandi and I'll put the link below. Um, this, uh, I'm not really breaking new ground on this, uh, on this but um, Gaming Geek did a major review and uh, he also has a painting guide and I did the, um, I pretty much followed his painting guide um, except for a few things that I'll show you. Um, link the link for that one will be there as well. Now, um, I came across the video from uh, Gaming Geek, and I said, "Ooh, I gotta have those!" But it was a Kickstarter, and then finally, they the company put them on uh, on the website, and now you can you can purchase them. There's 14 different ones. I just printed the ones I kind of liked. Uh, I almost printed the cleric one, but it kind of looked like a funeral urn, and that kind of that kind of made me kind of, yeah, it kind of icked me out a little bit. But anyway, um, here's the, um, here are the two. This one is the Sorcerer with the hand. And I painted this, I used the uh, craft. Um, I gotta be careful here because I don't want uh, Green Stuff World to come after me. But I used the uh, craft paint um, that shifts colors. And I used kind of used the turquoisey one, and uh, I did that for the um, magical fog on the bottom. Um, and I used the same kind of paint on the fingernails. Um, and then I, um, yeah, and then I used just craft. I used a purple craft paint, and then kind of built it up a little bit, um, you know, for the hand. And um, well, there you go. I mean, it it. it I could have done better, but uh, I, I really like the effect, and this one's actually going to be a gift for the non-gaming unicorn. And then the other, the other one I did was the um, the uh, was the uh, fighter one, and I just I just like the chainmail on the side, and then I just kind of followed uh, Gaming Geek's um, um, painting thing, except I used the color changing paint. Uh, I used the blue one. It doesn't really change colors, but well, I, I guess it kind of does. But it's a subtle effect. But I made the dragon um, kind of blue and, instead of red, and um, you know. But once again, I just I really like the chainmail one. I, just as a suggestion, Ars Moriandi, do one that's just, have a mug that's just all chainmail around. That that would be awesome. Now the uh, mugs have. Um, the inserts, um, this one reminds me of kind of like a oblong hockey puck. And this one is for the 12 ounce uh, cans and that, that's mostly, that's my beverage of choice. Um, this one has it in there and there's one, there's different ones for different bottles. I'm not much of a beer drinker. I think I bought this um, beer uh, from Trader Joe's uh, probably about maybe six months ago and I, I was actually going to use it for um, for cooking but anyway there's a there's a little adapter uh, for this one it's kind of a hollowed out circle or no well it, it's a circle and it fits over the bottle I printed one up but I, I put it down somewhere and I just can't seem to find it but uh, yeah this um, um, could also I'm, I'm might May it print this uh, the hand one is for the non gaming unicorn. I might print another one for myself and maybe use it as a dice cup. Um, you're not supposed to drink out of these. Um, I'm sure you could find a way to coat it, but eh, you know, just um, you know, I, I mean, I, I might even use make one of these to hold water in for, for my painting, but you know, I wouldn't advise drinking out of them. Um, especially, you know, with all the chemicals and paints and stuff that that are used. I mean, I put like about three or four coats of a dull coat in there, and you know, you don't want that leaching into into your beverage. Um, this is a great product. Uh, as I said before, I put the link below, and I'll put the link to um, the Gaming Geek um, to the Gaming Geek, and you can see um, how he painted them. And um, pretty, just pretty much what I did. Okay, everybody, uh, stay safe. Um, you know, you're probably going stir crazy. Um, but, you know, hang in there. Um, and thanks for watching. And I think we're up to 73 or 4 sur um, survivors. 73 or 4 um, subscribers. And, uh, you know, keep it up. We're, we're chasing down uh, the dice tower. So we'll catch up with you, Tom Vassell. Thanks for watching. Give me a hearty thumbs up. Subscribe it. Pass it on. Thanks for watching. Bye now.